When you go out of office, it's customary to set up your automatic notifications from Outlook. But have you ever been in a situation where you come back from your amazing vacation, well relaxed, only to find a stockpile of issues waiting your attention inside of Jira? Well, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at out of office assistant for Jira Cloud made by my good friends over at Resolution. And I'm going to show you how that app might just be able to let you have an enjoyable vacation and an even better time when you come back from your out of office. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video and don't forget to check out the links down below because Resolution not only has this amazing app, which you're going to find a link to install in your Jira down below, but they also have a really cool merch store. So definitely go check them out and let's jump into today's video. So inside of Jira, we're going to go to the apps over here and we're going to install their app. So I'm going to click on explore more apps and I'm going to type in simply out of office. Oh, oh, oh. And this is going to bring us this amazing little icon with the palm tree. We're going to go there. Again, this video is sponsored by my good friends over at Resolution and we're going to try it for free. So once you do that, you're going to click the start free trial and then we're going to let this install. Now, this app is really, really awesome because in the typical corporate environment, when you go away, when you're on PTO, maybe you're out sick, whatever the case may be, it is very customary for you to set up your automatic replies internally and externally inside of Outlook. But very seldom, mainly because this functionality is not available in Jira, very seldom do we worry about all the issues that come to us. Now, this can be taken into consideration from two different fronts. Maybe you're a software dev team and you are getting issues assigned to you for your sprint, or maybe you're a JSM user, an agent, and you have tickets coming in from your customers and your customers are expecting replies, but guess who's not home, right? And so this out of office assistant here is going to facilitate, it's gonna allow us to build some really, really easy to use automations so that when the tickets do come in and they're assigned to you, they're automatically gonna be taken care of. So let's take a look at how this works. So once you have this installed, obviously your admin is going to have to install it for you. So a couple of different things that I want you to look at over here on the top right corner, you're going to see your profile. And when you click on that, you're going to now see the out of office assistant. You're going to be able to click into this and then be able to walk through the guided tutorial that they give you, which is really, really easy to follow and really, really simple to you. So all you got to do is click on the add rule button. You're going to set up a couple of different things that we're going to be talking about, specifically the covers, and then that's it. So let's do this all over again so that we can see what it looks like. So I'm going to click on the out of office assistant. This time you're not going to see the guided tutorial, but you are going to click on the add rule for myself. Now this is available so that you as an individual being the responsible person that you are very similar to the way you do your own outlook, you can come in here and set up your own out of office and very, very similar to the way outlook works. You're simply going to put in your, when am I going to go on vacation? When am I going to be on vacation until let's just say Monday. And then you're going to pick for which projects this automation should be listening for. So by default, you can do all the projects or you can pick a specific project. Or if you really, really want to be very specific, maybe a specific issue type, maybe a specific whatever rules you have, you can just click on this JQL filter here, click back over here, do custom filter, and then you're going to be able to essentially create whatever you want. Now, by default, the way this works is anything that is assigned to me is the item that is going to be in play for this automation to take effect on. So I can add just like any other JQL, I can do an and issue type equals story equals bug. Maybe you're on the JSM side, right? Maybe you're only responsible for a specific request type or something like that. You can get creative there. I'm just going to leave it alone though, because I only care for this simple example about the issues that are assigned to me. So anything that's assigned to me in any project, so I'm just going to leave it automatically. I'm just going to switch back to projects. Just super, super simple, right? But you want to be very specific here because it might not be the case that you want every issue from every project you're in to be automatically rerouted to somebody else. Maybe you have different people per project that need to be your backups. And in that case, you're just going to come in here and make multiple rules, multiple variants of that rule and pick one project. So it goes to person X, pick another project. So it goes to person Y, so on and so forth. So this tool does give you that granularity. You do have to do a little extra work, you know, to go through every edge case that you have available for you. But that's the beauty of the tool. It's customizable enough. It's flexible enough 
that it's not just a here, I'm out of office, send everything to Joe, right? This is going to be, I'm out of office, these go to Joe, these go to Emily, these go to Timmy, these go to Billy, right? And you can do that flexibility, which is really, really cool. Again, just for the example, just to not make this video a thousand years long, we're just going to simply do all projects. The next part is optional. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you two use cases, one with the cover and one without the cover. And so let's start without the cover. So let's just say that you're gonna be out of office, you set your dates, you pick your projects, and then you just say your message. Hi, I'm out. Sipping a pina colada on the beach. I'll be back, right? And that's pretty much it. So if you want to do that, all you gotta do is just set your message and you can hit save. And now, whenever an issue is assigned to you, and it meets that criteria, right? Whatever project, whatever JQL you set up, then it's just simply going to add a comment. So any issue that's assigned to you, there will be a comment appended at the bottom. I'll show you examples in a minute. And it's going to say, hi, I'm out sipping a pina colada on the beach, I'll be back. And so that's super, super simple. Now, obviously that's super basic and helpful, but we could do better. And so let's go in and we can either A, make a new rule, right? Just to get in, into the habit of adding more rules, or you can click on this actions button here, click on edit, and this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a cover. And so what the cover means is it's basically your backup. It's who is going to be responsible in your absence for your issues. And so here, if you know somebody, you're just gonna put their name. Now, obviously, again, if you've ever seen any of my 500 plus videos, you know that I'm a team of one, so there's not a whole lot of people in my Jira, but trust me, a list of the users would be populated here. You can pick another user, and then you're gonna give it to them. So I'm gonna actually show you, just so that you can see that it works, it's gonna be assigned to me, and then it's gonna become unassigned. But in an ideal environment, this would be reassigned to another individual. Now we're gonna come back and talk about approvers in just a minute, but let's just save it, and let's actually show you a demo here. And so now once the rule's active, you have two options at this point. One, the rule is live. This rule is going to be working, as you can see, we're in the active section. And so now as issues come in and they're assigned to me, they're gonna be rerouted to unassigned and that message is gonna be added to the comments. Alternatively, maybe you, while you're setting this up or maybe you just, you know, there was a delay or whatever, you could just come in here to the little user icon here. And then this is going to show you every issue that is currently assigned to you. And you can manually, you know, you're just trying to be very proactive here. You can manually come in here and reassign it to another person. So this is really, really good if you want to essentially, you know, there was like a gap in between, again, when you set this rule up and then there's a couple of issues you know that already have to be assigned because the rule is gonna be effective feature facing, right? It's gonna be effective the moment that this out of office is set up going forward. But maybe you already know that there's five or six issues that are existing that you want somebody else to start taking care of and you can come and look at them here, click on them, you're gonna be able to unassign them, obviously you're gonna be able to put the person or whoever shows up there and then it'll just take care of it for you. So I'm gonna click cancel for now, but that's one really cool thing that you wanna know about. So now that we know that this is set up, let's actually go and do it, right? So we're just gonna click the create button here we're gonna to go to any project uh, demo for out of office. And I'm going to be very specific. I'm gonna make sure that under the assignee, it is assigned to me. And then I'm gonna click on create. I'm gonna click on view issue. And you can see that it's unassigned, right? And so this is really, really good because you know that I assigned it to myself. And guess what? Here it is. Hi, I'm out sipping a pina colada on the beach. I'll be back. And then this issue was unassigned. Obviously this will say it'll be assigned to a specific individual. I can go to the history and you can see that the Jira out of office add-on was the person that did this, right? So they're the ones that took the action on my behalf and have done the rerouting for me. Now this again is really, really cool, really, really easy to use. As you can see, it takes only but a couple of minutes in order for you to go and set up your own personal out of office rules so that when you do go on vacation, you can rest assured that those tickets that are being assigned to you are gonna be properly routed to another individual. Now, a couple of things that I wanna mention. If you're using JSM, these comments are gonna be added as a reply to customer, so they're gonna be visible to the portal. And this is really, really critical because oftentimes when we go on vacation, again, these tickets still keep coming in, right? Just because you're on vacation or you're out of office doesn't mean that your customer's out of office. And so they may still be having problems and they're still submitting issues and requests over to the portal and they're being routed to you, but then they just sit there and there's no communication, there's no transparency back to that end customer. And so 
frustrations can arise. And so by using this app here, you can one, give them a notification and two, also make sure that somebody who isn't on vacation on your team is still taking care of the customer because at the end of the day, a happy customer is a happy life. And so we wanna make sure we're taking care of that customer. And number two, if you have approval set up in your JSM workflow, then we're gonna be able to route your approvals. So let me show you how that works. So we're gonna go back into apps and we're gonna go over to out of office assistant. Now there's two ways to get to it, right? You can get to it either via the apps or you can click on your profile on the top right corner. And if we wanted to, right, if this was a JSM project, we can either A, make a new rule, or I'm just gonna go and edit the one that I have here. We're gonna click on edit. And down here, you could then set an approver. So if you wanted to, for whatever reason, give somebody else that authority to approve on your behalf, all you gotta do is click on the cover approver. You're gonna pick johnny at apple.com. They're gonna be an approvers. And now when the issue comes in, it's gonna be rerouted to set Johnny as the approver. And now you don't have to be the bottleneck while you're on vacation, right? So you're not holding everything up because there are gonna be a lot of workflows where this happens. And unfortunately, only Jira admins in a typical real world situation, only like your Jira admins are able to go in and change the approvers. And so this takes the burden off of them and it builds some automation so that that approver is automatically routed only during the window of which you're on vacation. So this is really, really a cool feature. Now, one last thing that I wanna show you here before we close out this video is that there's a reassign section here, right? So after you're said and done, after you've been on vacation, maybe you come back and you wanna review like, hey, how busy was life? Well, you just click on here and it's gonna show you everything, the whole laundry list of all the issues that were reassigned on your behalf, who they went to and when they were done. So this is a really good summary of what happened essentially while you were out. So that way you're not left in the dark. There's a couple of more things that I would love to talk about, but I just don't want to make this video too long. But let me know in the comment section if you're interested, right? Because I'm going to leave you links to the documentation. In fact, let me just give you a teaser of what is out there and what is possible. Number one, check out resolutions documentation. This is going to walk you through everything. So if you're more of a of a reader, this is gonna basically cover everything I just covered to do the basics. It's gonna give you some good use cases here and it's gonna give you some of the benefits and obviously the link to install the out of office assistant. This is the marketplace listings. So make sure you get the icon with the palm tree. Make sure you check out the video by my good friends over at Resolution. This is gonna walk you through everything you need to know as well. This, what I showed you, is the most basic functionality, right? This is just bare bones, you go and do it. There's some advanced use cases here. One, your admins can set up your out of offices on your behalf. So we haven't talked about that. You can also, via some clever configurations here, you could do out of office for somebody else. Maybe you're the project manager, maybe you're the scrum master, and you know when your team's gonna be on out of office, you can go and set them up. Although my personal recommendation, right, because of accountability, is you let them empower your team to do it because the last thing you wanna do is take on that extra responsibility because we're all busy as it is already, right? So I would encourage that you put the onus on your team to go and do this themselves, right? They should get into the habit of, if they're gonna be setting, you you personally don't set up their out of office or Outlook, so I don't recommend that you personally set up their Jira one, but again, different situation, right? Because Jira is obviously more of a team thing versus Outlook's just a very individualized thing, but I would still put the onus on them, get them into that muscle memory, get them into that habit of setting up their out of office in Outlook and doing it in Jira. But again, the app is flexible enough, customizable enough that you can do it on behalf of them as well. So there's links and videos for that as well in the description down below. And even more advanced, right? Let's just say that we don't want to always be setting these up because they're already in Outlook. They're already setting up their out of office. Well, there's a couple of videos here. There's a integrate Outlook calendar with Jira. So check out this video. Again, everything's gonna be linked down below. There's going to be integrate your Google calendar. Maybe you're not a Microsoft shop, maybe you're a Google shop. You're gonna to wanna to check out this video. They walk you through everything here. We also have a status from Slack. So maybe you're setting up your statuses in Slack. Well, we can read those statuses some, through some integrations and be able to show what's going on from the Slack perspective. And finally, you can have your Tempo uh, integration as well. So if you're setting up your out of offices in Tempo, this plugin can go and grab those. So there's obviously a lot of integrations. Check them all out in the description. And most importantly, let me know in the comment section if you wanna see my version of this, right? Obviously those videos are there and I didn't wanna reinvent the wheel, but if you wanna see me go through those integrations, let me know in that comment section, smash that like button. We'll talk to Resolution and I'll see if I can do a couple more videos. So this is a really, really cool app, right? Especially with holidays happening all the time, 
being able to take care of your team and most importantly, be able to take care of your customer, manage expectations, over communicate out of offices and still be able to pass the baton and not create bottlenecks. I think this is a really, really cool feature that quite frankly, I think this should be like something that Jura ships with because I can't tell you over the last seven years that I've been using Jira, how many times I ran into this problem where somebody's out of office and we're kind of stuck dead in the water until they come back. And we're ultimately at the mercy of like, well, whenever they come back, right, it, it just gets delayed, right? So if you want to be a very proactive team, this is a really, really cool app. Highly recommend you check it out. Links down below. Make sure you smash that like button. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Thank you to my good friends over at Resolution for making this video possible. And I'll see you in the next one.